Hi everybody, Chantal Hyde, Canada's Dating Coach, and I want to answer this super important question because this is the one thing that you need to understand so that you don't stay in the wrong relationship for far, far, far too long. So the question here today is why do you stay with him or her longer than you should? And the answer to that is largely a chemical reaction followed by a belief in the chemical reaction, followed by holding on to that belief for way, way, way too long. So basically what happens is we meet somebody, there's a certain chemistry, and we do the typical dating dance, which is go out for one, two, three days, and then you have that first kiss. Now the thing is when you meet somebody new, those really happy chemicals that happen in your body like oxytocin, which is what happens when we touch each other and it also makes you forget, which is why we forget those red flags, and dopamine, which is the reward chemical. It's the same chemical your brain releases when you snort cocaine, also happens to be the chemical that's released in your brain when you smile at each other. Like no wonder dating is so addictive in the beginning because it's just reward after reward because Obviously, when we're in what I call best behavior syndrome, which is just where the best parts of us just shine forth with so much force that everything else is shadowed, including all of our grumpy parts, which eventually will come out later on down the road, but that's a different story. But all those chemical reactions make you forget those red flags, make you feel like you're so rewarded being in that person's presence, and then when you add a kiss to that, which creates a chemical called phenylethylamine, also known as PEA, if you want to use a short form, that chemical hyperactivates your dopamine and your oxytocin. So you've gone from kind of crazy to super crazy, and you are missing all the red flags. You are on a honeymoon period that is just a tailspin of absolute bliss until those chemicals wear off, which takes about three months. That's why the honeymoon period tends to last about three months. But here's what happens after that point. We remember how good that felt, and we say to ourselves, maybe if I try harder in the face of these difficulties that are now popping up, we can get back to that great place we had in the first three months. Unfortunately, because you had those chemicals that made you a little bit mind numb to the realities of the situation, you were missing those things that are now popping up that were going to be glitches in your relationship. And so now what you're doing is you're trying harder. But the fact is you're trying too hard in a relationship that you probably never should have gotten into in the first place and you would have realized that if you hadn't introduced phenylethylamine during that initial period, hyperjacking all your other chemicals. But we want to hold on to what we already have and we hate to lose, don't we? And time is one of those things that we really don't want to lose. And so we tend to say, I've been in this relationship for three months, for six months, for one year. I don't want to lose the time that I put on the table and so we keep betting more time, if I put in more time, if I put in more effort, hopefully down the road it's going to pay off and I'm going to get that cha-ching jackpot, which is this great relationship that you've been striving for all along. The thing is, you got to pick the right partner. In order to get to the end of the line, you really have to make the best selection in the first place. So know that there's a part of your brain that'll make you hold on to the wrong person if you let the chemicals jack up too high in that initial three month phase. Keep the kiss to yourself, spend time with them, hold hands, cuddle, and get to know the person. And if at the end of three months, you really still, still want to kiss that person, then go ahead and have that first kiss. And if you want, don't leave home for a week. So I hope you enjoyed this advice. If you did, make sure you get a copy of my book, No More Assholes. Go to my website, canadasdatingcoach.com. Do check out my YouTube channel. I have so many more videos, so much free advice for you. I love to watch you grow and learn. So come on this journey with me and let me know how you're doing. So much love to you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.